I've been super fortunate to embark on some incredible aviation trips thus far, and today we're going to be taking the biggest one yet. We're heading to the Pacific Northwest for the very first time. To position ourselves, we're going to be heading to Indianapolis via Houston Hobby on Southwest Airlines. This is going to be a blast, and I'm super excited for this. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everybody. Welcome to Tulsa International Airport. We know the drill here, but I can't help but recognize how beautiful this airport is. Let's go ahead and get through security and head over to our gate, which is going to be B-5, where we'll find our first aircraft for today's two flights. Docked up here at B-5 is the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 registered November 8528 Quebec, a six-year-old Southwest 737-800. We have a massive trip ahead, so let's go ahead and get on board, everybody. And here we go for the pushback everybody, be sure to stand look out for all the in-flight videos as those will be coming out very soon. And here we go for our takeoff on runway 36 right everybody, I really hope you all enjoy this takeoff as this was a really nice long summer roll. Let's climb up to our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet, everybody. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to 32,000 feet, where we'll start with our first in-flight assessment here. So I really hope all of you are enjoying this trip report so far. This is really exciting to get ourselves positioned for some really exciting content coming up. But on this first cruise, we have some other topics that we got to talk about here. So let's go ahead and talk about those. First and foremost, this is the first time we are covering Tulsa, the Houston hobby here on my channel. We have covered George Bush in the past, so feel free to check out those trip reports. But nevertheless, here we go for Houston hobby. So Southwest has been operating this route for a very long time as one of their very first services here at Tulsa. I believe this began in the early 1980s to complement Dallas and Kansas City were the first three services. So really cool to see this here today. And this has certainly been a staple here at Tulsa International Airport. This route since the beginning has been operated two to four times a day. And it's certainly been a cornerstone of TUL carrying nearly, you know, it depends on uh, circumstances and whatnot, but I've seen anywhere from 60,000 passengers to 75,000 passengers a year. So safe to say that Southwest is moving people with this service, which is really cool. So typically the route goes over Dallas, but it just depends on the day sometimes they'll get closer over to tyler texas which is in the eastern part of the state so yeah it's definitely really cool to finally get to fly on this service and definitely a really awesome connecting point for various regions uh, you can go on the florida from here you can go to mexico quite a few people also go over uh to you know the la area or wherever you're going i flew in the uh Houston hobby several times now and have used it from Miami, Austin. Uh, I'm trying to think of where else uh, I did a day trip through here. So obviously it came in through Tulsa a couple times as well, Dallas. So it's been really cool to use Houston hobby and it's a really awesome connecting point. There is quite a bit of point to point traffic too. It's also worth noting that the Houston hobby airport is way south of the Houston George Bush airport. So Houston George Bush is situated on the north side of downtown while Houston hobby is situated closer to the city, but still south of downtown. So Still a really cool route though, and certainly really glad to finally get the flight as we continue to work towards our goal of flying every single route at Tulsa International Airport. And I only lack a few at this point, so I'm really excited to continue to work towards them and it's gonna be really exciting. So anyway though, this has been a really great cruise. 
I know that we've had a bunch of Southwest reports here on the channel lately, and you'll be glad to know this will be the final one for a quite a while, I think at least a couple months. So uh, it is really fun flying Southwest, but I get the redundancy, and that's why I'm trying to keep it as interesting as possible. So that's why these two flights are gonna be combined, and luckily we have some very exciting trip reports, some very unique ones, especially in during this Pacific Northwest excursion. So super excited for all this, and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Plenty of Southwest, but they're a great airline, and we can expect more of them coming up. So. I'll try to consolidate to the best of my ability and make it as efficient as possible. So we'll talk more about this once we have our next flight from Houston Hobby to Indianapolis. But nevertheless, we got to land in the Houston Hobby here. So let's talk about that. So we're going to come on the west side of Houston and then make a couple of turns to line ourselves up for runway 22, which is going to be their northeast southwest runway. So super excited for this. These Houston landings are always a blast. So I'm really excited for this. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. But nevertheless, overall, a really good job here by Southwest. Typical same old, same old. But Southwest is so reliable for the most part, and they do a really great job. So super glad to get this flight for a very affordable price as well, especially for a July morning. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and land onto runway 22 here at the Houston Hobby International Airport. I really hope all of you enjoy this, and we'll talk more during our next cruising session. Houston Hobby for the very first time everybody so I'll definitely do a full video regarding Houston Hobby in the future but Houston Hobby is a really nice airport as you can see right here the inside is beautiful and they also have two really nice pier pieces for their uh, gates so they have one main terminal that you'll find and they also have an additional five gates on the north side which I think may be customs but anyway uh, here at Houston Hobby Southwest flies here we also have Delta American Frontier Allegiant and I might be missing one or two but anyway it's certainly a really solid operation here at the Houston Hobby International Airport. So we arrived in the gate one, which is actually on the new pier. So that was nice to get to see those new gates. And again, I'll make a full video on Houston Hobby shortly, but there's some really cool aviation exhibits in there. And again, the infrastructure is wonderful and it's been rated one of the best airports in the United States. So definitely expect some really cool videos on Houston Hobby here in the near future. But anyway, we got to go down to our gate, which is number 21. So we'll do just that. Where we'll find our next Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. So this aircraft is going to be uh, taking us on to Indianapolis today. And the registration of this aircraft is going to be November 8540 Victor. So we're really excited for this flight as well. A little bit of terrain start to fall, but luckily it hasn't been a major issue yet. So that's absolutely wonderful. So yeah, here at 21, we might as well just go ahead and board. Again, I'll make a full video regarding Houston Hobby in the future. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and board up here for our flight over to Indianapolis. And here we go for the pushback, everybody. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the full pushback videos. That'll be coming out very soon. And here we go for our takeoff in runway 22 at Houston Hobby International Airport, everybody. I really hope you all enjoy this takeoff as it was absolutely full power here from seat 5F. Let's climb up to our cruising altitude of 37,000 feet, everybody. All 
Alrighty, everybody, welcome to our cruising altitude. So really excited for this flight as well as we have a really nice, pleasant cruise here. I believe this is about a two hour flight from Houston to Indianapolis. So let's just go ahead and kind of talk about what we have going on here. So first and foremost, Houston to Indianapolis has a few airlines serving it. United serves it out of George Bush, as you would expect, and Southwest serves it here as a, out of Hobby. So that's really nice. Both of them perform rather well. I think there's a, a good handful of mainline on that Houston to Indianapolis service for United. And then they fly some 175s while Southwest, of course, operates all their Boeing 737 on it so certainly a nice variety there and overall that's looking really nice so we definitely love to see that with regards to the trip coming up it's going to be absolutely massive i'll kind of give you some hints as of to what to expect over the next couple of weeks so first and foremost we'll have the alaska airlines first class trip port on their boeing 737 max 9 from indianapolis to seattle that was a really great flight mill service uh, my 100th flight so safe to say that it's going to be a really fun trip port to make and i'm very stoked for it so that's going to be awesome and then we have a really healthy amount of Seattle uh, content. So we're going to have two plane spotting videos there, which are the plane spotting in Seattle. So much fun. It's quite a nice variety of European heavies. Uh, and then you get the Asia heavies along with all the Alaska specials and all the actions. So super excited for both those videos. We'll also have a Alaska Airlines company store video, really cool store with some amazing prices. So I'm super excited to cover that for you all. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Followed by that, we'll have a video on the Museum of Flight, which is at Payne Field. It is a very unique venue, and I'm really excited to take a look at all the cool aircraft that you have there, like the, Boeing, the original Boeing 747, the United 727 Stars and Bars, the British Airways Concorde, among, among the other really cool planes. And they had the doors open on a beautiful sunny day when I was there. So it's going to be quite the vibe. So I'm looking super forward to sharing all that with you. And then we're also going to be heading up to Payne Field to take a look at the brand new Boeing planes that are currently being constructed. There were so many beautiful Boeing 777 X's and 737 Maxes that were being constructed. So I'm really excited to take a look at that. We also catch some cool planes that fly into Seattle Everett. So that's going to be super fun. Looking forward to that. And in the future, we'll have a video on the Future of Flight Museum, which was closed on the day I was there. I did not think they'd be closed on Tuesday, but I learned my lesson on that. So luckily, I was uh, very fortunate to make another excursion up to Seattle to knock that out along with the Boeing tour. So we'll take a look at that in the future. Following that, uh, I'm kind of just rambling now, aren't I? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, following that, we'll have a a really cool Amtrak ride up to Vancouver before we take a Harbor Air uh, Twin Otter on floats to Victoria, and then we'll take a Pacific Coastal Beach 1900 back up to Vancouver. So we'll have a video on the Victoria Airport and cover Canadian aviation for the first time here on my channel. Those were super fun flights. So I'm really excited for those, followed by a Vancouver plane spotting video and obviously their airport. And they also have a model store there called Flight City. So it's going to be loaded. I really hope all of you are excited for it, not just a handful of what to expect over the next month or so. So it's going to be really great. And I'm looking super forward to it. So we have so much going on here, and this is a massive trip. So you're definitely going to want to stay on the lookout for it. So definitely turn on your post notifications if you haven't already for YouTube. So you know when those videos are coming out. I plan to do about three a week or so. So it's going to be really fun. And positioning ourselves here on the Southwest flight certainly was worth it as this Alaska flight was super fun and got it for a really good price. So we'll talk about all those details you need to know on that flight, which will be, I believe, in the next video. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. It's going to be really cool. I'll also have a plane spotting video at Houston Hobby as we called, uh, caught some really cool aircraft. So I'm looking super forward to that. And yeah, Southwest West once again did a really good job on these two 737-800 flights. Both were new interiors and overall it was just a really pleasant experience. I love Southwest. They do a really great job. Despite having only one aircraft type for the general consumer, it's just a no brainer if you have plenty of Southwest flights in your area to utilize them. And I'm really excited for what their future holds. I hope they're able to get these Boeing 737 MAX issues sorted out. Hopefully at some point they'll get the MAX 7 as well. I think that'll be a really useful asset for them. So I'm eager to see what will happen with Southwest. I hope the future continues to grow as lately it's been a little bit tough, but I think Southwest will figure it out ultimately because Southwest is a really good airline and they'll continue to do what they do best. So hope you've enjoyed the views on this cruise. It was certainly a pleasant one, but now it's time to descend into Indianapolis International Airport. We're going to be landing on runway five left today. It should be quite a nice landing, and I really hope all of you are looking forward to this. So yeah, Southwest did a great job, had a great time once again, really good effort by them, and I'm looking forward to flying them home from this excursion in the future. So I hope all of you are looking forward to that. But nevertheless, here we go for our landing on runway five left at Indianapolis International Airport. I really hope you all enjoy this landing.
Thank you all so much for watching this trip report on Southwest Airlines with their Boeing 737-800s from Tulsa to Houston to Indianapolis. Be sure to stay on the lookout for all the in-flight videos as those will be coming out very soon, all the content from Seattle to come, and all the additional videos to come from the Pacific Northwest excursion. But nevertheless, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and one of you for watching my new Dredger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.